Today I'll be covering three different ways to fasten on a bracer. Velcro, zippers, and lacing. If you haven't seen my previous videos on how to give foam a leather texture, how to paint it to look like leather, and how to emboss it, I invite you to check out my channel and find those videos. I'll link them above. In this video, we're going to talk about three different ways to fasten on a bracer. I'm going to start with Velcro because that is maybe the most common and easiest way to fasten on a bracer. Now you may be tempted to buy the pre-stick Velcro and you're just going to put one on one side and the other on the other side and stick it like this. The problem with that is, first of all, I don't recommend the pre-stuck Velcro because it just doesn't stick well to foam. And as you wear your cosplay and you start to sweat, that stuff is going to come right off. Second of all, the issue is bulk. See how thick and bulky that is around your wrist. And that doesn't look so good. So let me show you how to use Velcro um, in a better way. I recommend if you're going to use Velcro as your closure system to preheat and shape your bracer in advance. Preheat it and then paint it so that it's kind of keeping the shape you want. If you don't, say something like this, when you go to put Velcro, it's always going to kind of stick up like that and it's not going to look as good. So add heat. For this one, I just wrapped it up like this. I let it cool. And so now it's keeping it, keeping its shape. You can see how the sides are kind of pointing into each other. So this is a great first step. The second thing I recommend is to solve the problem with it being too bulky is take a thin sheet of craft foam and glue it under here. So we're going to have a shelf to put the Velcro on. So that's going to take away a lot of the bulk. All right, now that I've built in that little shelf, I'm going to glue half of my Velcro on that shelf and the other half will go underneath this side of the bracer. I'm using contact cement. That's just my glue of choice when I'm working with foam. Make sure to use this in a well ventilated area. You could also just use hot glue. I generally like the uh, pokier side to be facing upward. That's just, if I'm wearing cosplay, it just kind of minimizes the chance of it snagging on my cosplay. But you know, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna be sure to put this um, Velcro right to the edge so that the edge isn't poking up. And now it just... So there's still a little ridge there, but it's not nearly as bulky as it would be if you had uh, not used this additional piece. Another way to fasten on a bracer is just by using a zipper. I can glue this in with contact cement. Um, a couple things to be mindful of is I need to be sure not to glue foam over this teeth so it opens and closes. I also want the, the closed part that doesn't open to be on the widest part of the bracer so that I can slide my hand in there. My contact cement is dry. Now leaving the zipper closed, I'm going to carefully just press making sure that I leave that millimeter or two that the zipper will need 
to open and close. And squish it down. Remember the opening needs to be on at the wrist of the bracer or the smallest part. Okay. Now this is where I need to be careful to line it up. I just pull your hand in there. It's the final method I'm going to show you is the traditional uh, lace up bracer. For this, I like to use these grommets. They work for the thinner thicknesses of foam. The larger uh, thicknesses, they don't make grommets that deep, so you would just have to maybe paint on grommets. Um, I think grommets are critical if you have like the two millimeter foam so it doesn't rip through. Um, to make grommets, you'll need to buy, they also are known as eyelets. You can buy them generally in the sewing notion section. You'll need the eyelets. You'll need some sort of eyelet anvil, lots of, kits come with this and sometimes you have to buy them separately. You're also going to need a way to punch holes in the foam. So let me talk about that next. Put in grommets, you'll need to first poke the hole in the foam. And here's a few different tools you can use to do that. Uh, for thinner foams, you can actually just use a hole punch. Also, um, different kinds of leather punches. For these um, leather punches, they're actually not that expensive. And I don't even use a hammer with them. I just kind of push and twist. Um, those work really well. You can also use just a small sanding barrel on a uh, rotary tool. Now let me show you how, if you want to punch a hole with a rotary tool, how you would do that. I've taken my um, scrap piece and I've put some other scrap pieces underneath it to bring it up off my table. And I'm just going to punch it down like that. Let me show you. And there's your hole. If you're using my basic bracers pattern, then the holes are pre-marked for you. Uh, otherwise, just measure out how many holes you want and pre-mark them onto your foam. If possible, punch a hole a little smaller than your grommet so that when your grommets are there, they don't spin and they're tight. I'm gonna be sure to leave about five millimeters between my hole and the edge of the foam just so that the foam doesn't pull, uh, tear through. Every grommet has a top and a bottom. We're gonna slide the top one over our hole, flip it over, slide the bottom into place over that. Now the top grommet sits in that little anvil. Put the top on. Now, as I hammer, I'm going to kind of like rotate this around to make sure All right. And that's in. Now, depending on the look you're going for with this bracer, uh, you could add an optional panel. This is just two millimeter foam that I painted the same color to look like leather. I kept this part unpainted so I could glue it in. I'm going to glue it in about an inch behind the grommets and that's going to create a panel so that when it closes, 
with lace, there'll be a panel underneath it. A bit of leather lacing would finish this off great. I don't happen to have leather lacing on me right now, but I do have this brown shoelace. One thing to consider about laced on bracers is you're always going to need a friend to help you. So that's our three ways to fasten on a bracer. The way you choose is going to depend on the thickness of your foam, the overall look you want, and the convenience of getting it on and off. One other thing I want you to think about is if you're going to be wearing these bracers against your bare skin, please line your bracer. This one I lined, this is an old one, I lined with interfacing. I've also hot glued felt inside. That's just to keep it from sweating against your skin. I've even gotten rashes from having foam against sweaty skin, so that's something you need to consider. I hope you've enjoyed my series on how to make a leather looking bracer out of foam. I've enjoyed making it for you. This pattern and all the bracer patterns you've seen in these tutorials are in my basic bracers pattern available on my Etsy shop. I'll link it here in the information section. Um, as always, like and subscribe if you want to see more cosplay content like this. I appreciate your support.